Okay, this is my video with regards to George Gose's uh, recent win against uh, Francisco Sierra's second fight in the US, I believe. I didn't get to see the fight live. Um, I was traveling on my way to uh, the Caribbean, so uh, I didn't get the chance to see the fight live. But um, now I've just seen the fight. Um, first of all, congratulations to George Groves. It's uh, good to see you back in the ring, George. Um, congratu congratulations goes to Adam Booth and everyone at the Haymaker camp. Um, they've got another win. Um, George had to come through um, a bit of a scare with the cut over his eye, I think it's left eye or right eye, whichever. He had a bad cut. Um, and I'm sure that um, in, in some parts of the world they probably would have stopped that fight. So uh, George showed a lot of heart and guts as always to get, him through, get himself through a tough spot and produce a cracking knockout at the end um, so that was good great knockout win uh, for uh, Mr. Groves and a fairly decent test on his comeback um, for me I like to see fighters fight regularly and 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 often I don't know what the situation was I know he was injured but as I said it's nice to have George back um, and uh, the first thoughts were, well, you know, he was fighting in America against a guy who was a bit rangy, had a bit of a pop on him. You know, um, George has been out of the ring for a long time, so ring rust, you know, and George isn't the fastest of starters, as we know. Um, although the Paul Smith fight would say different, where he knocked out Paul Smith. So what's my honest thoughts about this? Well, George... Groves, nice enough guy. Um, his big win came against um, De Gale. Now I've always had this, I don't know, when I watch George Groves fight, I always get the impression that George Groves is a, a brawler that wants to box, or not, a, a boxer that wants to brawl. That's the impression I get. I get the feeling that he wants to brawl in every fight. He wants to knock people out with one punch. And um, and Booth's trying to, try to teach him to box and use his jab and look slick and move around the ring. But it just seems to me Groves just wants to knock people out, which is fine if that's what his intentions are. But with that style that he has at the moment where Booth is trying to calm him down and get him to box, um, Groves just seems, for me, seems uncomfortable with it. He doesn't seem fluid with it. And with that, he's jumping in with punches. He leaves his chin exposed. His chin is always up in the air when he's throwing these big, looping, wide punches. Um, and there's always a possibility against a good boxer who's a good counter puncher. George is going to get tagged. And against the better fighters, the heavier hitters, and moving up in the you know the, the 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 class of opponent, George won't be able to get away with what he's getting away with at the moment. Yes, George has got fairly fast hands. He has a decent punch on him. Um, we have to see what he does as he moves up the ladder, as again against other opponents. But my concern with him is, um, much like I speak about Amir Khan, it's almost like an accident waiting to happen. I mean, how many more? of these scares can George be having in fights Kenny Anderson and then you know this fight with um, this guy's had tonight with the with, with the the cup and um, it's it's for me at this level you need to be putting guys away knocking guys out and moving yourself quite smooth you've had too much trouble we know he's got a big heart we know he's got a decent punching in fairly fast hands he's got some nice moves on him he carries his left hand way too low um, and his chin is okay and I say okay um, as you saw Jane, um, Kenny Anderson dropped him and he was badly hurt against Kenny Anderson and again it was his heart and his guts that pulled him through so Groves has got a lot of guts in fact I think he's got maybe too much heart um, and I keep getting visions of him um, almost like Amir Khan style where Khan is fighting right to the end but on the verge of being knocked out instead of boxing and clearing his head he wants to get in and have a rumble um, 
and it, it just concerns me a lot with Groves. It really does. My, my worries with, with Groves is that he's too hot headed. Um, and for all the potential he has, I'm not sure if the Adam Booth way of boxing and moving is suiting Groves. It looks good, but I don't know how effective it actually is. They're getting the job done at the moment, just. Um, I'd like to see Joe Groves behind a good left jab. Um, and for me, a quality fighter, the hallmark of a quality fighter is to have a good left jab, a quality left jab. I mean, Groves has got some good shots he can throw there. You saw in the fight. But I think it'd be nice to see him doubling up, tripling up his jab, and then throwing them hooks in, you know, to setting up and open up opportunities for fight for, in, in fights, rather than just swinging in with these big right hands that he has. Um, again, the knockout was a superb knockout, but again, his chin is up in the air. And a lot of times in the fight, he was getting caught, got caught way too often. Okay, we can put it down to ring rust, but he wasn't ring rusty against Paul Smith. He wasn't ring rusty against Del DeGale, and he said he wasn't ring rusty against Kenny Anderson. So defense is a problem. It's nice to see him putting his hands up against the ropes, but that's just a concern. And I can see him getting caught one of these big shots and being laid out cold. And, and, and it's a concern, it really is. Because George is a nice kid, you know, and um, he has some talent there. But um, way too often do we, we, we want to rush guys like George into world contention and I don't think he's ready for a world title fight I think George by his own admission would say he's not ready for a world title fight I'd like to see him fight some more fights fight around the European level and develop his his, his game a lot more and decide well look George if you're going to be a brawler then you'll be a brawler if you're going to be a boxer be a boxer but this brawler boxer thing I don't think it's working for you I don't think that style is, is working for you um, me personally I think you just see me you want to brawl um, but let me know what you guys think because I know some of you guys would disagree with what I say but that's what it's all about and some of you would agree so it'd be great to hear what you think I'm finally back online um, I've had to get myself connected because now I'm in the Caribbean so I hope I'll be doing a lot more videos um, now and I'll probably do some more interviews and see what happens from there okay this is Baylorick TV I'm out